And he says, Esau and Jacob were born. So one boy was born to play the wicked, which was Esau, Esau. and the other boy was born to be the righteous. That's why he said in Romans 9, 13, is their unrighteousness with your heart. Lord forbid. Lord forbid. He said he made one boy to be evil and one to be good. So you cannot tell him what to do with the clay of earth that he made it. So he made us to be the ones that suffer now, to be afflicted in this time, and he made Esau to be the hairy red devil, the conqueror, the rapist, the sinner, the one that came here and destroyed her. He made him to be that. So the wrongs are already set up. That's why he said that in Romans 9, 13. Is there any unrighteousness with the hell? No. But the churches want to put everybody under this banner of Catholicism, and false Christianity and lies. So we're not going for that. And he said, and, and uh, Jacob had first uh, 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 the heel of Esau. So when, when the boys come out, came out, Esau came out first. That devil knew his chance was coming, so he came out. Huh. Right behind him, our father Jacob okay. had his heel. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. For Esau is the end of this world. Right. So all the other nations, the Hamarama, the nations, all of them were in his works. But then he had a chosen people. That's us. Mm -hmm. So Esau is the end of his plans in the, uh, in the uh, Hamarama, the nations, the natural Gentiles, non Israelite people. Right. So they don't have their chance to rule this earth, man. Time. They don't ran their course. They don't did everything he said they were going to do in prophecy. Tearing up the earth, raising hell, dropping bombs, killing people, and dating one another. Right. Then he said Esau is going to be the end of the world, and Jacob is going to be the beginning of it that follows. So now this new, my, my father, my young, uh, uh, kazah, meaning a uh, new heaven and earth is coming. And it's going to be for Jacob. Who's Jacob? The 12 tribes. Judah, so called Negroes. Benjamin, so called West Indians. Levi, so called Haitians. Shemayla, the so called Dominicans. Lebanon, so called people of Guatemala, the Panama. Ethiopia, mm -hmm. so called Puerto Ricans. Cubans, so called Manessa. God, the North American Indians. Ruben, the Seminole Indians, not all these people, Argentina, Chile, Asha, Colombia, the Uruguay, and Ezekiel, the so called Mexicans, of Indian so called Negro mm -hmm. descent, indigenous people. That's what they call us, and they're conquering, and the slanders mm -hmm. that we are under right now. And many of us have forsaken the Most High and the law, and our heritage was turned to others, and we took on other. Why do you think we look like this? Like all these lame us out. Why do you think we look like this? We look like this because we forsook the house and the law. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to be looking the way we look now. Look at us with our beautiful garments on, the brothers that's on around right now. This is the way we're supposed to be dressing right. and rehearsing the righteous acts and addressing the most high and giving reverence to his priests Priest. and those that are about him. That means the ones in the congregation. Whether you holding a flag for the school or whether you come in here with your family. We yeah. salute you. Yeah. Okay? And this is what Yahweh told us to do. For well, Esau is the end of the world, people. And Jacob is beginning of it to follow. Yeah. The hand of the man is the prince of heel and the hand. Other questions as are asked are not. So he was like, listen, don't go that far. That's what's going to happen. So the end of the world is Esau. Esau. That's where we're living at now, the so-called white man, Edomites, right, man. are the end of this world. Right. This is why he's got the earth right now. Psalms 81, 5, verse 8. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. It says, I will hear what Yahweh, Yahweh will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Y'all hear that? So what will Yahweh speak to you in these last days? The truth. True. Hear that? The Lord will speak. But he will speak peace unto his people and let the uh, saints and let them not turn again to folly. 
So in order for you to hear this, the most I got to call you from amongst your regular people that you came from and your tribal members so that he can show you the new Jerusalem and the way to new Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. See? Let's go to Psalm Revelation 2.29. This is what the Spirit told us to tell our people to listen to today. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Revelation chapter 2, verse 29. It is written. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. You know what the word church means? The word church comes from the Greek and Roman translation of belonging to the Lord. Ecclesiastes. Once they translated certain things in the Bible, our people got in their minds that this is church. Right. This thing up here. So the most high dwell in temples made with hands? Nope. No, he don't. No, don't. What the most high said about this? Let's go uh, X. in 1 Kings 8 27. Here's another one to show people. Mm -hmm. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 27. Our people are still locked into the church because this is what a white man put you for ages. And you say this, the prophet said, For well, will Yahweh indeed dwell on the earth? So is he in these buildings? No. Behold, the heavens and the heavens cannot mm -hmm. contain thee. So how much less the house that I have built? Mm. That's the same thing you said in the New Testament in Isaiah 66. The most high don't dwell in no temples made with hands, people. Right. And this is what happened to our people in the religious instruction the of the Negroes, mainly here in the mouth of Judah. Benjamin, yeah, Levi, yeah. and all the other tribes scattered abroad, you've been instructed in the Bible world. Come now on. the most high is going to send out the teachers, yeah, and they right. say, you're going to see your teachers, and they're going to tell you, well, this is the way. Walk you there. Whether you turn to the left or right. Yeah. That's the same thing my teacher showed me, that they were standing right in front of me, and I was like, wow, this, this is happening now. So it's happening in your town, that I come to you in his name. See? So now let's go to uh, Isaiah 66, 22. Let's go to Isaiah 66, 22. It is written. And our subject today is a new heaven and new earth. This is what he said in Isaiah 66, 22. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. He said this. It is written. For as a new heaven and new earth, which I will make. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yahweh is bringing this new kingdom. And you want to be part of it. You ever heard of people telling in the church, I want to be in that number when the saints come marching in. We're going to be coming in size 140 now. We're going to be coming like this. We're going to have more swords in that day, and we're going to be marching. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Shemaiah, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Naphtali, like we did in ancient times when David was made king. Now when the king of kings comes, he's going to raise up his army, and we're going to take this earth and put it under the laws of the Most High. This is what this new Jerusalem is about. This is what we will put on this earth to do. And we're waiting patiently for who? For the return of our king. Mashiach, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. See what it says here? Isaiah 66, 22, it says, uh, uh, what I make shall remain before me, saith Yahweh. So shall your seed and your name remain. Mm -hmm. This is what our people are missing. The seed of Israel has to depend on Yahweh and Yahweh shall for their salvation, for your living, and the righteousness through him through this body. And that's what our people are missing today. They running around and talking about these seven day events. Mm -hmm. They talking about they are a Muslim. Yep. Your denomination. When you say your denomination, look up the word denomination. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a denomination, brother. What denomination are you? I see. My denomination, see, what we do here is that uh, we don't eat this and that. We, we eat pork. Right. And over here in this denomination, in this side of the church, we do this. Right. The most high gave us one law, didn't he? Right. One 
come back to it. One Yahawasha. So why we got all this schism among us? Because of the divisions of denominations. And these people don't put us in these denominations. And here you go right here. Mm -hmm. By, uh, the dictionary. Denomination. The Merriam what's the dictionary. What it says denomination is. Denomination. An act of denominating. A value of a size of series of revealed values. <laughs> a name, a designation. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Who gave us these names? Negro, Jamaicans, Haitian, Dominicans, Panamanians, Puerto Ricans. Who gave us these names? That was a rich part, man. Mm -hmm. When they came in, they said, Rich Port, Puerto Rico. Right. They saw Judah. They said Negro, Negro. 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 Yeah. Means dark skin. Right. Haitian. Right. High grounds. Mm -hmm. And all these other names. North and American and right. Indians. What where you where, what part of you is North? What well, you come out of Margot's Lucy's family group? Hell no. And then what part of you is Indians? That means savage. Or oh, they said Indios, but the white man turned it around on them said savages. So we got all these labels on us from the enemy, man. Mm -hmm. State, what Puerto Rican, white man, all of that stuff came from them. And now we use it in our daily speech. So you've been denominationalized. It says a designation, a general name of a category mm -hmm. of religious organization, right. unifying local congregations, in a single body. And you know who that was? That was a damn Roman church. Yeah. The Roman church called you denominations. The Most High brought you out of Egypt as a nation. Right. And he said you will become a company of nations. The mm -hmm. ten tribes came over here and formed their own nations over here. Right. On this side of the earth. So learn these words. I know why I'm not. Means nation. Yasha Allah, you the nation of Israel. Nation of Israel. Yasha Allah. That's right. Benyami. Loya. Loya. W.I. Eva. Upper Ryan. All the names belong to us. And we got to take it back home. Okay? So he said this in the Bible that these times are going to be here on this earth. So let's go to the next verse in Matthew 16 19. Lord of Matthew 16, 19. They spoke about this uh, heaven and earth. They put in the allegories of the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is what it says in Matthew 16, 19. Yes, it is written. It says this. I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Who was he talking to here? Look at verse 16. And, and Simon Peter answered and said, God the Christ, the Son of the living power. Mm -hmm. Yahweh shall answer the said unto him, Blessed God, Simon, uh, by Jonah, for flesh and blood is not revealed unto, unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, church. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. See, he gave church. the disciples right. the authority mm -hmm. to go out and we're going to go back into the series next right. uh, week, showing you the seven churches that was built up there in Asia Minor. Asia Minor. And now the disciples are back here in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And now we're coming out now and with authority to build what? The people back up. Listen mm -hmm. to their thought. And I will give thee unto thee the keys of the kingdom. What's the keys to the kingdom? What's the mysteries of this book? Mm -hmm. right. Everybody in Israel is not a prophet or a seer, so they can't right. tell you this. Only the elect right. are going to tell you these things. Because okay. everybody in Israel ain't got the spirit. That's why you got all these 50,000 storehouse churches out here. Right. Everybody talking about God and Jesus. What God and Jesus mm -hmm. are you talking about? <laughs> mm -hmm. What lies are you speaking, man? Right. They're all over our That's people right. right now in this division. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So what we do here on this planet 
Don't and the council of this book. Yeah. And you come to us and you get kicked out of here because you don't want to do it. Right. You are bound to those sins because right. you didn't come in and conform. Right. That's the power and authority we have. Right. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So the council of the heavens hear us when we come together. And what we say out of this book, if you don't take heed to it, we shake the dust on you, the Lord said, in the day of judgment, in Matthew 10, 5 and 6, no it mercy. shall be worse on them than in the day of Sodom and mm. And that's what time we're living in, because that's the time that we are here in right now. Let's go to our main subject. In Revelation chapter 20. Let's go to Revelation the 20th. And we're going to start in Revelation chapter 21. Let's go to the first chapter of Revelation to introduce you to King Mashasha in the book. He said this in Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Mashasha, Jesus Christ, for Allah Yasha, with Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Mm. Who are the servants of the Lord? The Israelites. Psalm 49 Proof. verse 3 says what? The Israelites. Yeah. Yep. The elect of the Israelites. And he uh, signified it by the angel unto his servant John, God. who bear record of the word of Yahweh right. and of the testimony of Mashasha and all things which he saw. Thus is he that read them, and they that hear the words of this prophet. And keep those things which are written there mm -hmm. when the time is what? It's mm -hmm. at hand. That means now. It's now. Mm -hmm. Some people I've seen online, they said Revelation is talking about way in the future. Yeah. Revelation was in the past. This Bible in Revelation yeah. goes to the past and the now yeah. and what's coming. Mm -hmm. So what's coming? That's right. Revelation chapter 21. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and new earth. A new heaven and earth. In Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And the first heaven and earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So in this vision, mm -hmm. John the Revelator saw the New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And what he saw, this is the old Jerusalem when David and Solomon had the kingdom. Mm -hmm. What he saw in this great vision, he saw a new leadership on this earth mm -hmm. in this vision. And this thing is getting ready to happen after the oh. Third World's mm -hmm. War. Right. Let's get that in the Bible. For the revelations, once again, in the time of revelations, what's coming next? Is it the end of the world? Nothing else going to be on the earth? Is everybody going to die? Hmm. Is the white man going to destroy everything? <laughs> no. Yeah, he ain't going to destroy everything. He's going to destroy certain things. And he's going to mainly destroy himself. And after he destroyed himself, then <clears throat> the Most High is going to step in and take over this planet because this man is going into this. Go to Revelation. Uh, chapter, uh, chapter 11, verse 18. Verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead that they should be judged. And thou should have given reward unto thy service the prophets, thy saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should have destroyed them which destroy off the earth. Mm. Now hear that? Right. Who destroyed this earth, man? The wicked. Esau. Esau did. 
Real 920. He polluted the air, polluted the food. Mm -hmm. He polluted people's minds with Christianity, yep. democracy, and so-called mm -hmm. denominational religions, communism, yep. socialism, mm -hmm. rape, robbery, and murder, all over the planet. Okay. This earth is polluted right now. That's what these people are arguing about in the scientific community. Mm -hmm. They're saying we must turn to the electric cars. Mm -hmm. Because the pollution is killing us. Global warming. Mm -hmm. You all see storms in places where you didn't see storms. Right. You all see drought in places where there was water. We talked about it. Me and the brothers converse about it. Right. You all see whirlwinds and tornadoes and earthquakes on this earth. Let's go to Joel 21. Mm -hmm. Job saw in this vision of the Old Testament. He said this in Job chapter 20. He'll start at verse or 20. And it says this. Uh, in verse 27. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity. This is heaven on this earth, people. Right. You see the planet Earth? Mm -hmm. The Aratazah, that's the earth. Is floating in heaven, the kingdom of heaven was Jerusalem, and he said, In this time, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity. The ozone layer is destroyed from industrial waste, nuclear bombs. And this man got thousands of nuclear warheads ready to incinerate this atmosphere of this planet mm -hmm. and kill everything that's living on this planet. And he built it for his own destruction. The Lord says in Isaiah, he made the waste of the I got that. It says this. And the earth shall rise up against him. In these last days, the weather is going to go crazy worldwide. You going to have drought, famines. Mm -hmm. You going to have hurricanes, yep. whirlwinds, That's right. tornadoes. Earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah. Play. Here you go, right here. I shared this with Brother Nathaniel while this week. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Go to Psalms 107, and we'll start at verse 33. You turn up the rivers into a wilderness. What is that? Drought. Don't you know we got a drought in America right now? Mm -hmm. Well, why? Huh. And the water springs into dry ground, meaning droughts. Look at the water areas in America. All the water is down like this. They just had some tornadoes out there in the West. Told everybody. Mm -hmm. Killed all types of people. Okay. okay. And it says here, a fruitful, uh, a fruitful land unto uh, uh, to barrenness. For the wickedness of them that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. This is why Yahweh was bringing drought. This is why he brought coronavirus. That's right. This is why he brought AIDS. Because of the wickedness. Man laying with man. Woman laying with woman. Mm -hmm. Woman laying with dogs. Right. Cats and rats. Come. Men having sex with animals. Mm -hmm. This is what is going on in this wicked, evil world, this sinful and adulterous generation that's right now in this earth. Revelation chapter 21. And it says, For the first heaven were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, New Jerusalem. coming down from the hour out of heaven, prepared as a bride adored for her husband. See. So what he saw in his vision, this. he saw this new kingdom, and the most I showed him this kingdom coming out of the heavens. So why? This kingdom is going to be built on this earth. Mm -hmm. Come. Let's prove that. Right. Let's go to Isaiah 60, right? Isaiah chapter 60. 
This is what he said about the new Jerusalem. The new kingdom that's coming gonna be built by the Gentiles. They're gonna be our slaves. Our slaves. And we're gonna need slave labor. So the most high ain't gonna kill everybody. Right. We're gonna preserve some of the nations, we can get our hands on them and get vengeance on them, take their women yep. and their kids and put them in captivity. captivity. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. 10. He that lead up in the captivity shall go in the captivity. Right. He that kill up with the sword must be killed with these righteous swords when the time comes. And we're going to have our swords and our armies of Israel right. and the angels of the Lord over us, and we're going to kick much butt on this planet. Right. Really, um, uh, Isaiah 60 says this uh, in verse 10 And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Mm. And that king shall minister unto thee. You know what they're going to be doing in the kingdom? They're going to be coming to Israel. It says, Ham going to be on their knees saying, Oh, 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 the God of Israel, thou art of power that hideth thyself. Oh, they're going to put them and get on the ground, and yep. we're going to be standing there with our garments on the king. And we're going to say, Bow to our king. Yeah. Pay tribute to our king. Bow, you heathens. That's right. And they're going to be on the ground like this. And they're going to be worshiping us like this. Yashua Allah! Yashua Allah! You are great people! Don't kill us! Yeah. That's what they're going to do to us. Yeah. And that king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smoke thee, but in my favor I buy mercy on you. Therefore your gates shall be opened continuously, and there shall not be shut day nor night. And men may bring the forces of the nations, mm -hmm. the Hanawama, mm -hmm. and their kings may be brought. They're going to be mm -hmm. brought how? <laughs> right. This is how they're going to be brought, people. This is, this is justice, man. God. How the hell they brought us into America? Some of the Babylonians? Mm -hmm. So put you right here. They had us on the wall. We marched out of Babylon. They made us walk. From right. Israel to Babylon, to Babylon. Push. the Persians, Elon. the Assyrians, King Shishak, Time. all your enemies that had you in captivity, That's right. they shall go in the captivity. In the captivity. That means all nations, not just the white men, all of them. All of them. China, right. Japan, That's right. Ishmael, Time. Japheth. And whoever else is on the list of cable nation, mm -hmm. they go out in the captivity mm -hmm. under you and your new king. That's right. See what it says here? They ain't going nowhere. Where do you think they're going? They're talking about they're going to go up. There's everybody going to be going to the king. Yeah? But well, tell them to read this. Right. Michael. Jeremiah, oh, chapter 30. Verse 16. That verse 16. Three. Therefore, all that devour thee shall be divided. Mm. And all thine adversaries, every one of them nations, all of them people, shall go in the country. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Tell them my brother. Okay. All right? And all that pray upon thee will I give for praise. Pray. The most high will give them to you. Here's another one in Isaiah. I like this one. Hell! Remember them black bastards that showed up from the west coast of Africa? How many of y'all forgot that? I hate to get King Gehomi and Ashanti. They said, we saw them for what we did to you. Oh, really? Who caused it? Mm. Who caused Ebion to fall? People to fall. Manasseh to fall. God to fall. These whites. That's right. Killed our people. And all our people came on ships to come in. The ten right. tribes came first. Well, then happens. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi came afterwards. Yeah. So we all came in on ships, like the Lord said. And the Hamites took us when we came out of the last remnant of us ran out of Jerusalem. Look at that. See that Arab brand turban person right there? Mm -hmm. The Arabs and the Africans, the Hamites, got together, Georgia. rounded up Judah and fought a Judah on the west mm -hmm. coast of Africa oh. and sold us 
the most high said this. How are they going to come to you? Let's go to Isaiah, right? Right. Chapter 9, verse 4. Isaiah 9, 4. Isaiah 9, 4. Thus said the Howard, the label of Egypt, what color are the Egyptians? Brown. Brown. And the merchandise of Ethiopia, Kush. Mizraim are the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. And the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall come after thee. In what? Chains. They shall come over. And they shall fall down under thee. They're going to be like this. They're going to bow. Hey, please. Israel, don't kill us. That's right. And we're going to be like this. Get down. Right. Get out. Yeah. Kiss my damn boot. And they're going to kiss us. Right. Scriptures tell you that. I have my boot kissed. Right. In the sons of thunder. You were out there, and a kiss. white woman came up. Right. He said, Kiss the son, lest he be angry. Yeah. She I ran over there. She, she grabbed my foot and kissed me. Kissed me. Yeah. So right. we was in the spirit prophesying, and they saw the glory of the high on us. That's right. And she came over there. She said, I said, In the future, woman, you're going to be a damn big wench. That's right. <laughs> Your sons. Are gonna be running mail for us. That's right. Your daughter's gonna be in cages dancing for us. That's right. When I bring my brothers over, we have playing yeah. some wine, and we're gonna drink the wine, and we're gonna party. And we're gonna yeah. say, "Hey, I got some Edomite slaves. Y'all want entertainment? Yeah, give me some yeah. East Indian women. Come here. Bring it on." And they're gonna turn on that music. They don't need, they don't need, they don't need. come out there. What do you need? Yeah. I want to start. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I got some special guests here tonight. Give me them damn uh, Japhetic women, them hula hula girls. That's right. And they're going to come out there, and we're going to sit on our thrones in the kingdom. That's right. And we're going to be drinking wine, and they're going to be entertaining us. Uh, we, they did it to us, didn't they? Yep. Go to Las Vegas and see all them pretty black women with them big old legs. Yep. And that pretty long hair, the ones you can't even get with. Right. So the white man will turn them into damn modern day colonial wars. Am I lying? But they're coming to us in chains. Man. Just when they're coming in. They shall fall down on the thee. They shall make supplications on the saying, Surely your power is in thee. And there is none else. There is no other power. Verily, thou art power that hideth thyself. O power of Israel, the Savior, shot. Sure. It ain't gonna be yeah. Oh, he says, Don't kill us, Israel, please. We yeah. love you, Israel. We're gonna be like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shall the enemy be okay. on, the, on the hill of my foot and especially eat them. That's right. And we're gonna tear down all these damn religious uh, ideologies. We're gonna take Caesar. Cast his ass into the ocean, and That's we're gonna right. take all these Uncle Toms, and we're gonna put them to the sword. Yeah. The ones that trade turned on us, and you hollow, you got your mark, man. Yeah. All you Uncle Tom sellouts, yep. this is what waiting for you. Sorry, right. 149. Okay. And we waiting, patient. We waiting, man. Yeah. We just waiting for the right turn. When the king come back, then we gonna get out. This is what's coming for us. Revelation chapter 21. Go back in. It says this. Verse 3. I heard a great voice of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of your is with me. What me? Yeah. You. you. That's right. You all understand that? Duh. That's right. He's going to be dwelling with you. Amen. The men of Israel. Men of Israel. And I will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. And Yahweh shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. Aren't we crying now? 
Yep, so Jeremiah 14, you know, we, 2. We mourning. Jeremiah 14, 2. In the time of Mawa, man. Okay. In the time of the great cabal and the great captivity and the dispersion and the ignorance. And there shall no, be no more death, no more dying, brothers. Mm. Mourn for the next seven days, we mourn with you. And the day are at rest to uh, be judged. That's right. And I ran forth on this earth, fear not the sentence of death, the Bible says. Right. But this is the sentence upon all flesh God. that come up upon the earth. And we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashasha. That's right. For what we did in our bodies. Therefore, right. we persuade men, said Paul. Neither shall sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Mm. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he mm. said unto me, Right, for these words are, are true and faith. faith. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is offers and the fountain of the water of, of the life freely. You hear that? Who charges out here at the base or anything? They ain't even char I charge anybody here for something? No. 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 Payments have been sent here because I don't ask for no money. Right. This knowledge is free, free. for all those that hear. That's why the scripture said in Revelation 1 229. He that has an ear, let him hear what the most high say to his congregation. Okay? Get it overcome him. This is what you got to do. John, have it all games. How are you going to do that? Go to Revelation chapter 12. Y'all know what the key is? You said we have the key, don't we? Revelation 12, it says this. And start at verse 11. And they were came in by the blood of the who? The lamb. The blood of the lamb. Who died for you, brothers? The Hamasha. I like that. Acts 15, 23. My shah shah died for Shasha. all of us. That's right. What it say in Revelation uh, 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 chapter 12, verse 11? By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. What's the testimony of the prophets? The law and the testimony. You see this? You got to believe in this, man. Okay. He that believeth in me as the scripture says. St. John 738. And they love not their lives unto the death. See that? We ain't gonna love this life. This life we live in is hell. This is my life, man. We wanna get the hell out of my life and get into the kingdom. <laughs> That's right. We wanna get into my young. Get into heaven, man. Get into heaven, man. Okay? Yeah. And it says here, verse 7, Revelation 21 7, He that overcometh shall have all things. And I will be his power, and he shall be my son. So who we looking for? Yeah, I'm a shot. Hmm. Son of Yahshua Allah. But the what? Scary ass. <laughs> unbelieving. That's right. The abominable. Come. And murder. Whoa, what's an abomination? Come. Don't you know the faggots thinking they're going before the most high as a faggot and you think they love? They taught faggots that the most high loved them. Don't mm. you know that? Mm -hmm. They got faggots in the church over my yeah. oh I love Jesus. And they got these abomination commercials yeah. on TV up here in New York yeah. talking about. I take the bottle. The bottle helps me with my AIDS. Mm. And I'm undetectable. And I can go around and spread AIDS and then go right here. It's dirty ass faggots. That's right. And Thanks. sodomites. There you go. You are an abomination to the most high your house. What's well, right. highly esteemed a man right. is an abomination right. to, the to the Lord. Two men going to bed together, you turn out like this. AIDS. Two women Long going to bed with each other, look at this. A dog is pumping on a woman growing up in her vagina. Ugh. An erectimus anus. This is what's going on in this world. Two white women marrying each other. Mm. The God of Libertas. Libertas, right. Go out, do what you want, women. Don't, don't mm. fuck with no man. Come right. here, let me suck you. Right. Look at this man having sex with a damn cow. What the? Where you end up at? Mm. See that? 
AIDS. AIDS. You get the AIDS from the plagues. That's right. So these are the abominations of coronavirus that the Lord is sending all over the planet because of the sins and wickedness of man. So he said, uh, but the fearful and unbelieving, you know what an unbeliever is? Fellas that don't believe in this knowledge. Right. That's what we're talking about. Come. If you are honorable amongst Come. us, yeah. and the abominable, we just showed you abominations. Faggots and lesbians are condemned, according to verse 7. Right. And murderers, you kill your brother, you kill mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. you chop people up, you do mm -hmm. ceremonies, or whatever it may be. Yeah. You're a murderer, man. Murderer. And whoremongers, oh, going out with prostitutes. Mm. Get your wife, brother. She right. pet from that. Pet. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Christmas. Christmas, New Year's, Halloween, Halloween. Thanksgiving. You know how many people died on Halloween? Yep. <laughs> it's a bloodbath. Every Halloween, somebody gets run over by a truck, shot down in the street, kids get poisoned, then they had drugs out there in Long Island, eastern Long Island, where all the rich white folks are living out there in the Hamptons. Yeah. And they had kids out there with, with drugs from Central and South America. How did he get here? I let it over the book. That's so right. it ends up in the street. Your child gets poisoned and killed. And they say, say no to drugs. Right. Corruption, mm. man. Corruption. It has to be done. That's right. See what it says here? Sorcerers and mm. idolaters. What's an idolater? Yep. Yeah. That's Did right. You know how people are in the idols right now? That's right. Psalms 96 and, Psalm 96 and 5. The gods of the nations our uh, people have adopted are uh, idols. Caesar Borgia is an idol. The Roman church deals with idols. The Baptist church deals, deals well. with idols. And all the other churches deal with idols. That's right. And all liars. You are a liar, Koresh. Yeah. You are a liar to hell. Stop teaching at the mark of the beast. There's a chip under your skin, fool. <laughs> the comforters here. We got the comforter. We robbed right. everybody, made a doll, voodoo doll, sold it in the church. The like it right. says in Second Peter, they're Chapter gonna make two. merchandise off your name, Yahshua Allah. That's right. Don't you know that? They're gonna That's make right. money off you. Brother, mm -hmm. call my school. Hey, brother. Shut, shut it up. Can I, can I get that garment you got? I said, for what? No. I want to I wanna represent. I said, nigga, did you come to school yet? No. Do you know the law? Mm -hmm. No. Did you come and learn this? Did you come to the straight gate? No. You ain't getting no damn garment. <laughs> you got to earn this. Uh, By converting. Yeah. Romans 12 and 1 tell you that. That's right. And you coming in here with all this madness. Huh. Fake Israelites gonna fall like flies. That's right. And I'm gonna clean them up. See what it says here? Shall so have their part in the lake which burn up with fire and brimstone, which is a second death. So when the missiles hit, all of it is getting burned. That's right. That's what we're telling y'all. We pick and did. believe in the gospel. Mark chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. The Save yourself from this untoward generation. I don't want to people in my area. I tell them all the time that I run. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, said, I see you online. I see you in the school, brother. Mm -hmm. The destruction is coming. Look. Destruction. They come to train. And they run them over, man. Yeah. Hmm. He has an ear on him. Let him hear. And there came unto me one of the seven angels that had seven vials of, four, of seven last plagues and talked with me saying, Come hither, and I will show you the bride of the Lamb's life. He's going to show you the new Israelites in the new Jerusalem. And he mm -hmm. carried me away in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem descending from heaven 
from the heart. His kingdom is going to be so glorified and so magical looking. It's going to yeah. look like it came out of the heavens. That's right. Beautiful. Who's going to be in there? Having the glory of your heart. You know what Hakka Ha is? Glory. The light was into a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear and crystal. And had a wall, great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels. And the names written down, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I thought the Gentiles. God so loved the world. Right. No, the twelve tribes, tribes of Israel are going to be on those gates. gates. And an angel going to be right. on that angel. gate. So ain't nobody going to go up right. there like they did in the burner pots and right. chip off nobody's nose God. and chip off your name from this glorious kingdom like Esau did over there in the east. He chipped off all the noses of the Sphinx and all the antiquities yep. of the dark nations, including Israel, yes, he did. and put it upon himself. That's why he run in the mind and called himself Jewish. Yep. Christian and everything else that's supposed to be right. And who right. is nobody but what? The devil. Who is it? Oh. Go to Revelation chapter 12. Revelation 12, once again, what the Lord said to tell y'all. We must tell you this. All you damn color struck colonial minded Negroes, you love this damn thing, you going to burn yep. in my life in judgment day. Yeah. Revelation 12, what? And 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell there. We living down here under these heavens. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down upon them, having great, great wrath, wrath. Because he knoweth he has but a short time. This man of time is up. Mm -hmm. They know what he's going to do? He's going to come down on the inhabitants of the earth. But who is our hope? in this world. Is it not Yahweh? Oh. Is it not the most high Yahweh? Did he not say on this great kingdom that's coming, the new Jerusalem? Did he not say on the gates? He saw the twelve tribes. Saw the twelve tribes. Of the nation of Israel. That's right. If you want to get in this number, what oh. do you have to do? Acts 2 19. Last scripture for the day. This is what you got to do, brothers and sisters. The first thing you must do, Acts chapter 3, verse 19 says this. Repent! What? No, come as you are. No. Repent. Repent. Ye therefore and be converted. That your, that your sins, sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the Lord, the presence of the Lord. We're in that time now. The refreshing is coming to learn the knowledge of your Yahweh and your Yahweh Get wisdom, but get understanding. See? And it says here, and you shall send Yahweh Shai, no, King David. <laughs> Yahweh Shai. He's going to send Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, a Mashasha, the anointed Savior, that's what it means, before whom we preach unto you. Whom the heaven must receive until the time of restitution. The restitution is coming. You want to be restored? Huh. You want to pay back for slavery? You want glory? Haka -ha? You must wait for the most high Yahweh. Huh. Of all things, which Yahweh has spoken by the mouth of his holy prophets since the world began. Hmm. This is what you got to do to get in here. Now what it says in Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. It's time for you to seek the Hawaii God. Seek the Lord. Hashem Mashasha. Hashem. Come through the straight thing. That's right. Come to the council. I'm going to receive this word freely and drink of it freely, said the Lord. For the day of your hour, my Hashem Mashasha is at hand. So, brothers and sisters, this has been. Revelation. By my thought, y'all. My young, uh, I want to die. A new heaven, a new earth. Prepare yourself for these days, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. Yeah.
Shalom wa ma. Allah, Allah. Allah. Name is peace. Be unto you. Be unto you. Be unto you. In the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem. We bring you this word. Shalom. Shalom.